AOC trying to pick a fight with the world's richest man and didn't end well for her. Ocasio-Cortez getting all conspiratorial, trying to dunk on Twitter's new owner, Elon Musk. Quote, LMAO, at a billionaire earnestly trying to sell people on the idea that free speech is actually $8 a month subscription plan. But you don't mess with the master troll like Elon. He fired right back with this. Your feedback is appreciated. Now pay $8. <laughs> and now AOC says she's conveniently having issues with her Twitter account. So I pulled my Twitter app and it's like gone. Like when you pull up your mentions and stuff like that, it's just like literally like a blank screen, totally gone. And I was like, hmm, that's weird. So it turns out we got under a certain little billionaire skin. The chicken tender looks good. I'm hungry. Is that what she's eating? It looks yeah. good. I'm not going to lie. All right, Jessica, what's going on here with AOC and Elon? Mm. I don't think any anything is going on. I maintain that this idea of paying for the blue check mark is not going to be something that works out the way that he thinks. I know you were talking about it earlier on Newsroom with Kat Timp. I'm not sure if you can expense it, which was your plan. Um, <laughs> I think you can. Still you think we plan. can? Yes. Um, you're going to have to promote Twitter the five. Is... If you get, but I can't promote the five because I, I don't have blue check. Well, there are big accounts that have no check marks, which yeah. I do think is interesting. But Twitter is just going to fundamentally change. And if that's okay with people, then that's got to be okay with people. I went back and looked at where the blue check mark came from. And it was a lawsuit in 2009. This guy, Tony LaRussa, or LaRussa who is the manager of the St. Louis Cardinals, yes. was being impersonated. And the person who impersonated him was saying offensive things about two dead Cardinals players, and it was mm. causing a lot of distress. And so they created this system because it's supposed to be a verification of real people. And if it's just $8 a month, we might sit here and say, I don't want to do that. But a lot of people who are not who they're going to be saying that they are are going to pay for it. And it's going to turn Twitter into something that it was not intended to be. And if people are cool with that, that's fine. But they're going to have to find another place to go if you actually want it to be a curated news feed for you of trusted individuals. Judge, so she's complaining that she can't see what people are saying about her. Well, how do you think the New York Post feels? Remember, they got completely shut down by Twitter. Oh, yeah. Gee, wasn't that right before the election? Yeah, the timing wasn't was Wasn't that when they didn't want us to hear about Hunter Biden and they didn't want us to know that Hunter Biden was really a dirtbag whose house <laughs> should have been raided by the FBI? But, you know, the thing about, the thing about, uh, and we talked about this before, AOC, talk about LMAO, is that she's always angry and she's always fighting, but there's no, she doesn't produce anything. She doesn't do anything that benefits anybody. I don't understand what her whole focus is. She's just like a miserable person. Well, she fought with Bezos, too, and then she lost New York millions of jobs. Yeah. Literally, literally lost thousands of jobs. <laughs> literally still sells sweatshirts on her website for $60. This feels like the beginning of a Nora Ephron romantic comedy. Billionaire libertarian by social media platform where a young, defiant female progressive spends all of her time. She finds him repugnant, yet she owns one of his cars. He <laughs> finds her ideas silly, but is captivated by her charm. Are George you? Clooney, J Lo, <laughs> they might have aged out of this, but I, did I just not write yeah. a movie? I love it. Is it do you be, see the same I think sexual? It might be Selena, Selena Gomez, Selena and... Gomez, and um, who's Harry Styles? Yes, yes. Yeah. But he can't wear a dress in this. I'm against that. Are you picking up on that? I think I actually thought that, that, that <laughs> it, it crossed my mind. Yeah. It did uh, cross my mind. Um, she, Twitter is not a public service. It's a company. This is how companies work. You have an economics degree from somewhere in Boston. You should know that. Um, I actually see, I really see both sides of the $8 issue. I don't know how I'll come down on it in the end. You can't both sides this, day. I, well, I mean, right now I can. When I, I don't, it, it, you don't have to have There are fine people on both final, sides. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to have a decision until the $8 is due. Okay. Are you going to pay the $8? I don't know. Like, part of me was like, oh, Twitter drives me nuts. Like, maybe this is the best way to get off. But I don't want people impersonating me well, on Twitter. Gonna happen. And also... But I don't like all these ads that I'm yeah, seeing. But you know, Jess, Jessica says the original intent of it was for the impersonations. But what, why we don't like it is because now it's status. 
It's like, yeah, I have a blue flat. check. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that makes it nauseating. And so paying for that means you're paying for the status. But you know, a lot of these blue checks have asked for it because there are blue check mark accounts. You just, and you click on it and it's like 982 followers. Oh, damn and you, them. Yeah. How no, dare I'm they? just saying that the system is obviously, you could have gamed it before, but this feels like a, a corruption. All right. well, what if you take a picture of a blue check and then you just put it up I'm there? <laughs> That's fraud, Greg. Is we fraud illegal? That. Yes. Well, sometimes it isn't. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.